when uh, Dr. Ross and I uh, were seeing Matthew uh, for his first post-operative visit, we reviewed the uh, overall record and the results from the lab. And when we saw the diagnosis had changed, the two of us just looked at each other and basically in so many words said, oh my God, no. Matthew uh, came across as a very down-to-earth, uh, sort of laid-back individual that you wouldn't think was uh, the number two academically in his high school class uh, or was an all-star athlete. When we got our final pathology report back, the pathologist read the tumor as a sinonasal undifferentiated carcinoma, which is a very, very highly malignant, highly aggressive tumor. Matthew started on his chemotherapy uh, for the disease that had spread to his lungs. Uh, initially there was some response. However, Matthew uh, his tumor stopped responding to the chemotherapy uh, and instead they started to grow. The day before Matthew uh, died, he uh, told his parents, he said, I want you to take my college fund and establish a fund for skull-based tumor research uh, for Dr. Marantet to use. When I heard that this is what he wanted done and with what his parents did, uh, I thought it was about the most generous thing I've ever heard in my entire life. Uh, he had his full college fund that his parents had saved for and the money was there. Could have easily been used for his, his brother, could have been used to pay down a mortgage on a home or just about anything. This is absolutely prime example of people giving something that is important to them so that it can help other people. When someone comes in today and we diagnose the same tumor, I give them far more hope. In the last six and a half years, uh, we've treated eight patients with this tumor, seven are alive and free of disease.